but this does. Capable of high speed over the roughest ground and swimming the fastest rivers, you could say this M3 is the ultimate amphibian. And why? Because not only does it race around on land and water, it lets entire armies do it too. But how? Well, check this out. I'm deploying two massive ballast tanks so I can float and raising the splash shield. This fantastic amphibious truck is a transformer. Further downstream, there's a squadron of Leopard 2 battle tanks waiting to cross the river. Ten of these, or eight of them, however many it takes, are going to come out from both sides of the river, and they're going to make that possible. As the M3 amphibian approaches the river, the water driver races to his position at the back of the craft and takes up his controls. It's now a high-speed watercraft. Here I am at the water driver's position of this water jet powered M3 vehicle, which has 15 times the power of the propeller powered duck. Once the water jets are active, this machine has got incredible performance. What's the maneuverability? Hold on tight. 26 tons, magnificent. Thrust full on. Turn the transversal to the left. Absolutely magnificent. This amphibian is so good in the water because it addresses two key issues, power and drag. And the power is delivered via these water jets. There's two, one at the front and one at the back. They're mounted on a 360 degree swivel head so the thrusting can take place in any direction required. In terms of drag, I bet you're thinking these wheels, these massive wheels, cause a bit of drag. Well, you'd be right, but watch this. Now you see them. Now you don't. So there we see the infantry, they've just secured the right bank of the river. They're now waiting for the M3s to move in and get the tanks across. But just how are the amphibians going to get a whole squadron of 70-ton tanks to the other side? But the whole raison d'etre of the M3 amphibious vehicle is to join up with other M3s to form a ferry, in the case of two of them together, or more than that, to form a bridge to take a whole squadron of tanks from one side of the river to the other. Watch this. And I'm going to actually time the whole formation of the bridge. Here we go. It's an exercise that should take around about 10 minutes, 15 or 20, we shall see. Captain Vogt is very proud of the speed of this exercise. The cranes have lifted these ramps into position, and what's happening now is they're going to form up so that an M3 with one side having one ramp locks into the side of the M3 with two ramps, and eventually they go side by side, forming a bridge. Docking these two unwieldy leviathans to complete the M3's transformation into a tank bridge is going to take all the skill of the eight drivers. There we are, eight M3s have formed that bridge in, well, I make it nine minutes. Excellent. I almost feel like breaking into a round of applause. There we go. But I'm hearing engine noises. So here we have our first Leopard 2 tank crossing. It's around about 70 tonnes worth of weight, so it's quite a feat by the M3s to create a bridge strong enough to take a whole squadron on. Absolutely magnificent. 
The M3s, of course, aren't armoured, so once their job is done, they will disperse quickly, and they have the performance to do that, in readiness for another bridge to be built elsewhere downstream. Everything but the kitchen sink is coming over. And there the bridge is breaking up. There's a whole group of four now, in fact, moving away. That's how they form in two groups of four. Two groups of four basically join up. You can see them now pirouetting almost. That's maneuverability for you. Look at that. Thanks to the unique abilities of these high-speed, go-anywhere amphibians, rivers can be bridged and tanks driven across before the enemy even know they're there. Quite superb. Up we come. We're getting on the wheels now. We're being held by the jets at the back. The driver's engaging drive, and up we go. Yes, we're on land. Look at that. Absolutely brilliant. Only an amphibian could do that. For special jobs where land meets water, nothing else will do. Yeah.